Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Say hello to Tom Eller of Mount Wolf, Pennsylvania and his 1968 John Deere 140. Tom spared no effort in restoring this classic John Deere from top to bottom. At tractor shows, he displays his work proudly, but at home, he still likes to see it do what it does best. I do use it in the winter. I put a snow blade on it, and uh, it's amazing how comfortable you can be just to go out in a sweatshirt in the middle of a snowstorm. Uh, it has electric wiper, uh, so it's a very useful piece of equipment. But at the same time, I don't think a lot of people uh, spent the money to get one. And uh, so there's not a lot of them out there. Part of what makes Tom's 140 a rare luxury is the Cozy Cab, which is a brand of customized cabs that became available for John Deere garden tractors in the 1960s. It, it's nice because uh, you can just go out in a sweatshirt and uh, as small as the cab is, uh, a, a little bit of air coming off the engine and just your body heat, it actually uh, gets very comfortable in here. In the summertime, I think a lot of people would just remove the doors and let the cab on the tractor to be able to use it for their summer work. And it also had a sliding rear window, uh, and that would also help vent the cab. The amenities make for a nice ride, but don't forget this John Deere is built for work. The 12 horsepower Kohler engine, the hydrostatic transmission, and the electric clutch are just some of the working parts that put this fast and flexible machine at the top of its class. So in some ways they were a small compact tractor, um, but I think they were way ahead of their time with the optional features uh, you know, for, for its time. Uh, I think it's a lot of tractor in a small package. This tractor was equipped with triple hydraulics, uh, which would allow you to do multiple things at the same time. Uh, you can run a power angle blade on the, same, on the front and angle it and raise it up and down. Um, at the same time, you could have a mower deck on it and raise that up and down. So for John Deere, the triple hydraulics was a, a really nice feature, uh, something a lot of the other brands did not have. 1968 is when the 140 first hit the market, and it was also the last year before John Deere modernized their emblem and several other brand icons. Some things that make this tractor unique uh, for the year is, uh, is it had a brass tag on, on the snowblower, and all of the John Deere implements that year would have used a brass tag. In 1969, they switched to aluminum tags instead of brass. 1968 John Deere used a green grill and a green engine and a green uh, fuel tank and in 1969 they changed a lot of those components over to black because they came out with the custom color John Deere tractors um, so that way um, a lot of those parts replacement parts would all be black and could be used on either green or patio tractor. John Deere tractors may have changed a bit over the decades, but Tom Eller has made sure this 140 has the same look, utility, and comfort as its first day on the job. Today I would compare it to a, a nice compact tractor, and that's one thing when I restore a tractor and tear them apart and piece by piece paint them, put them all back together, I just think about how lucky the gentleman that brought it home when it was new uh, I, it just makes me think of how proud he must have been to bring that tractor home new. In its day, this would have been a, a very nice piece of equipment, and not everybody would have been able to purchase one. <laughs>